Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College's Renewable Energy Program. This is EET 121 Digital One. Today we're going to have a super quick discussion on hex and octal. All hex and octal are is binary shorthand. You know, given 0, 1, 1, all these, you know, go ahead and start, start adding this number to this number. You know, it's super easy. I mean, is it a one zero one one one? I you can easily get confused, um, and it's easy to transpose ones and zeros and long numbers. All hex and octal are is binary shorthand. It breaks hex specifically breaks it up into four bit positions. And I'm going to put that one there. Octal, all octal does, breaks up into three bit positions. And it gives specific codes for those, uh, those four, four bits. So remember, how many, what's the maximum number you can represent using a certain number of bits? The maximum number is 2 to the n minus 1. So in case of, hex is 2 to the 4 minus 1. The maximum number you can represent is 15, but that's 0 to 15. So how many positions can you do? That's 16, because 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 15. The number of positions you can represent is 16. So all hex does, it has 16 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine. You can't go to ten because that's that's two digits. So what you do, start borrowing from the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F, and assign those sixteen positions to. Oops, I forgot a zero. Uh, assign the sixteen positions to. Uh, those uh, those spots. So zero zero is our four bits. And so on. And there you go. You've got zero through nine represented with their binary equivalents, and then you've got A, B, C, D, E, and F, which is equivalent to our fifteen. Okay? So for our example here, we got 1010. Zero, zero. Looks like that's an A. So there's an A. Now I've got three ones and a zero. That looks like it's E. Now I've got a 0110. One, zero. So 0110, one, zero, that's a 6. 1011, one, one, that's a B. And I've got a 0100, zero, zero, zero. that's a 4. So I can write this number as in hex as A. E six B four. That is a lot easier to remember or to communicate to someone rather than one zero one zero triple one zero zero one one zero one zero one one zero one zero zero A E six B four. So that's all hex is binary shorthand using four bits. Um, octal using three bits. And those digits go 0 to 7. So for this first example is 1, 0, 0. It's right there is 4. 1, 1, 0. It's 6. Triple 0, 0. So rather than saying 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, you can say octal 4, 6, 0. Okay, don't put those dots in there. That's bad. Octal four six zero. Uh, one of the funny things that you can do with octal and hex. How well? First off, how do you count in um, in octal? You count zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one zero, one one, one two, one three. 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 2, 0. So you get it? Because you're adding, just like in binary, 
and you're adding a place, but you can only go up to seven, so there's seven digits there. So how do you count in hex? Zero to nine, A, B, C, D, E, F, one zero, one one, all the way up to one nine, then it's one A, one B, all the way up to one F, two zero. Just kind of cool. Um, I think that's all I want to talk about. All you really need to know is that hex and octal are binary shorthands used to represent, in case of hex, four bit, uh, four bit digits, um, and octal is three bits. Just a little shorthand so you can uh, avoid transposition errors.